Hello again. As I promised before, here's a quick video on how to do 3D plots in MathCAD. I'm Mark French and I'm at the Mechanical Engineering Technology Department at Purdue University. Here's our uh, department website and just in case uh, you didn't know, the YouTube channel is Purdue MET. Alright, in order to do a plot in three dimensions, you have to have two independent variables, and I'll call those variables x and y, and one dependent variable, and I'll call that z. Now I've already uh, worked out a function here. Let's call that our function. Um, sine squared x plus cosine squared y times e to this stuff up here. What this does, uh, th this makes the amplitude of z get smaller the farther away from zero you get. Okay, so if you want to know what that looks like, we've got a function x and y is the independent variables, z is the dependent variable, and uh, all you have to do is go up and say insert graph, and there's two kinds of 3D graphs, well three kinds really, um, we're going to use the surface plot right there. Now, uh, I had to zoom this in to get uh, good resolution on the YouTube video, so I'm going to scroll up, you won't be able to see that anymore, there. In fact, actually, let's do this. Let's uh, zoom out just a tad and see how this works. That's better. Okay. Right now, I've got uh, axes that are just in uh, default range. They all go from minus 1 to plus 1. And there's this little box down here. That's where I put my dependent variable. So there you go. That's what it looks like right now. And that's not terribly useful. So let's fix a couple of things. Number one, let's go to the appearance box here. There's, there's a lot of choices we have here. This is the appearance box. Let's say hide lines. Well, that helps a little bit, but it also helps if we use a color map. Okay. Now this is live. I can rotate this as I choose. That's good, but it's a little rough. It's easy to imagine that this plot is maybe not as rough as it looks right now. And the reason it looks so rough is that there aren't many points in the x and y direction. Let's just to keep things organized here, let's just label the axes. Now normally you'd have maybe some physical quantity here, but for right now I'll just call these x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Okay. So now we can see what we're doing. We know which one's which. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask for more points plotted on the screen. Uh, this format where you just type in Z and hit return and let it guess what the uh, uh, ranges of X and Y should be is called a quick plot. So if I want to change it, I go to the quick plot data. Now for right now, I'm saying that those are okay uh, negative 5 to 5 are okay for both the X and the Y ranges. Let's add more points. Let's go instead of 20 points per uh, in the X and Y range, let's go to 40 and see what happens. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Okay, so now I can see what's going on here. I can actually go to more if I want. I think this will let you go up to 99. Let's go up to 75 and just see what we get. Okay, there. That's nice and smooth now. Now it's even when you look at it directly from the top, like I am now, the colors show you what's going on. All right. So there's what you expect. There's uh, we've got the lines hidden from each other, but you can still see the axis label through there, sort of. If we want to go to solid, we can. We can say fill surface if we like. So now you can't see through it at all. We can say fill contours. Okay, so now it looks much more 3D. And we can do no fill if we like, which is what we had before. All right, and there are there are more. Uh, you can do lighting if you want. You can uh, let's see if this works here. There, you can see there's there's shadows on it now, so that gives more of a 3D. Uh, image to it. It makes it easier to interpret. And of course we can change the shape or the size of the plot just by pulling and dragging as you normally would. All right. Now one other thing we can do is if you prefer, let's turn the lighting off, 
if we prefer we can go uh, switch from a surface plot to a contour plot okay that's what it looks like now we're using the color as the third axis and we're using uh, X and Y as our two dependent variables the independent variable the Z axis is actually going in and out of the screen and is uh, shown only by the colors so this is a uh, 2D representation of a 3D surface. I'm kind of a 3D guy. I think I'm going to go back to that. Ah, that's much better. So there you go. This is fairly easy. This is called a, a uh, quick plot feature. There are more complicated ways to do 3D plots, but that's probably the easiest one and the one you'll use the most often.